Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Bodhi Linux. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you do, you get entered into the Dell XPS 13 that we're giving away on October 31st, 2021. We are taking a look at Bodhi Linux. Bodhi Linux is based on long-term support Ubuntu 20.04, and it is fast, and it's fully customizable, and it runs the Moksha desktop, or Moksha. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. They've got a full wiki. you got tutorials, installation, whatever you might want to get done. It comes with Chromium out of the box, and I had to make some adjustments. I had to maximize it up to 125% because the text was a little small to read, but that's something minor. In Bodhi News, it's letting you know that 6.0 is released, and that's the one we're looking at today. It's based on Ubuntu 20.04.2 LTS, long-term support, Focal Fossa. It's got a new forum. It's got Got Forecast 2.0. Let's close out of this and look at the desktop. This is what you're greeted with when you first started up on a live USB or in a virtual machine. You can see it is green. It's got a lot of green in it. Uh, over here, you've got your clock. You've got your desktops, of course. And then down here, you power button, your battery, your notifications, volume, clipboard, internet. And we were just in Chromium. That's what it comes with out of the box. And then we got the terminal. Let's go ahead and pull that up and see if it has HTOP installed. Do like the background on the terminal. That's kind of neat looking. So HTOP. It does have HTOP out of the box. And at present, I've assigned it two cores and a whopping two gigabytes of memory. I like to run these distributions on low spec machines. So you can see what you're dealing with with an older PC or older laptop. Right now, at rest, it's only using 353 megabytes of the two gigs I have assigned. That's really impressive. That's hardly anything being used out of the box. CPU-wise, we are looking at 0.7%, 1.3%. So it's bouncing back and forth. So it's very light on RAM and very light on CPU. And you've got the Thunar file manager. It opens up. As you can see, the icon set is also pretty green. Okay, yeah, you can resize. It just doesn't give you the outer arrow look. It just gives you a little green pop-up. But this is pretty much it. This is Thunar out of the box. You've got your desktop through videos up here. You've got places over here. You can drag and drop any of these over here that you want. So that way you can have your panel over here set up the way you like it. Now we're going to go to the Bodhi menu. Right off the bat, applications. You've got accessories, which is Cherry Tree, Leaf Pad, PyCom, Calculate, and X Archiver preferences. You got your additional drivers, Bluetooth adapters, Bluetooth manager, language support, monitor settings, software and updates. Let's check out their software and update center. Okay, that just popped up. And as you can see, I do like the look of it, but it's hard to make the windows bigger. You've got your Ubuntu software. You've got canonical, community maintained, proprietary driver software restricted by copyright. Other software, you've got the CD-ROM, the 20.04 Bodhi release, packages, Bodhi Linux, authentication, additional drivers, developer options, live patch. Pretty much what you're going to see in Ubuntu, you're going to see here other than Bodhi's own updates. And on programming. You've got Genie, Education, you got LibreOffice Math, Games, Isle of Rot Solitaire, Extreme Tux Racer, Frozen Bubble, Graphics, Document Viewer, E-Photo, GIMP, comes with GIMP out of the box, Image Magic, LibreOffice Draw, Internet, you've got Chromium Web Browser, you've got Discord installed, you've got FileZilla, HexChat, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Sound and Video, you've got Audacious, Kazam, Pulse Audio Volume Control, VLC Media Player, and then Office, you've got Document Viewer and the LibreOffice Suite, System Tools, you got the Bodhi App Center, it does come with Synaptic Package Manager, and those of you that don't know what Synaptic is, it's an alternative to get software on your distribution. Now, the first thing you want to do in Synaptic Package Manager before you do anything is go up here, click on the reload button. That way it reloads everything. And once you reload that, all you got to do is go up here and search, type in the name of the program you're looking for, and then you'll be able to find it. So let's close out of Synaptic. Let's go back down here to the menu, go back to application, system tools. You got bulk rename. You got the GDB package installer. You can download a Debian package online and just open it and install it with the GDB package installer. You've got kernel manager. You've got login window. You've got printers, task manager terminology. You've got Thunar file manager. You've got time shift. For those of you that don't know, you can use time shift when you first get everything installed and you install all the applications that you want to use. Just go over here, rsync, or if you're on the BTRFS or ButterFS file system, click it. Once you're done, you can click next and it will actually make a snapshot of your system. The first snapshot is decent sized. It's not huge, but it's decent sized. And from that point forward, when you take snapshots, it'll only take snapshots of things that have changed in your system. So that way, if you have any kind of failure or you have a catastrophic system problem, you can 
can go in, refresh from time shift, and it'll put your system right back to the way it was the last time it saved the snapshot. Time shift, Thunar Update Manager. Places, quick launcher. You've got your all applications, settings, plugins. You can access those from a quick launcher right here. Okay, quick launcher, you click on it. Once you click on menu down here, it goes away. Let's right click on menu, start, automatically scroll contents, look, move to, remove, shelf, contents, orientation. Right now it's on the bottom, so I guess you can move the shelf to the right. We want to go back to the bottom. Okay, so that moves it back to the bottom, and then you can move it left, top. You can do everything you want to do right there. Let's right click. So that's the same. You can move gadgets, delete, rename, and then system, lock, hibernate, power, theme. What kind of theme? Okay, so we're running the Moksha Arc Green. So you can go up here and hit Moksha Arc Dark, and that changes the wallpaper automatically. So you can change the whole theme from right there. Okay, if you go back over to settings, look at theme again. Let's go with blue electric. So there's many ways to customize the look of what you're dealing with. It changes the icon, wallpaper, and everything at once. So that's pretty nice. I like that, actually. That's a quick look at Bodhi Linux. It's a very lightweight distribution. If you've got an older PC or an older laptop and you want a Linux distribution that can get you in and just let you start getting to work, Bodhi Linux is definitely it. Comes with a lot of tools out of the box. Comes with many ways to add different apps and software to the system. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you do it, you get entered into the Dell XPS 13 giveaway that we're doing on October 31st, 2021. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.